You are watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We got some breaking news here today. Joe Shane has made another move here in the 2023 NFL offseason, and they are bringing back a familiar face in O'Shane Zimenez. Zimenez is going to re-sign with the New York Football Giants. No contract details have officially been released as I am reacting live to this right now. I expect it to be a one-year veteran minimum deal for O'Shane Zimenez. If we do get more information on that, we'll make sure to keep you guys updated. But Mike Garofolo of NFL Network was the one to break the news just a couple minutes ago. He said the Giants are re-signing linebacker. He's really... I I guess he's technically an outside linebacker, but he's really an edge rusher. Former third round pick that stays with the team that drafted him in 2019. Shout out to good old Dave Gettleman for the pick of O'Shane Zimenez out of Old Dominion. Um, eh, is kind of my reaction to this re-signing because so far, eh, is what O'Shane Zimenez has been in his NFL career. When you look at what he's done in those first four seasons, there really hasn't been all that much production. I mean, he had two sacks this past year, one most notably on the last play of the game against the Green Bay Packers, where it was actually a strip fumble on Aaron Rodgers, where the Packers beat the, or the New York Giants beat the Green Bay Packers overseas. His best year, though, was his rookie season, when he had six tackles for loss, four and a half sacks, one batted ball. But kind of the injuries started to creep up and give him some problems. Only played in 14 games through the first, second, and third year of his career. But played 15 games in 2022. Did have those two sacks, three tackles for loss, 24 tackles, and two batted balls. He obviously has potential. The guy was drafted in the third round for a reason. But I don't think that the job is done at adding pass rushers to this football team right now. But before we roll on anymore and talk about O'Shane Zimenez and maybe a guy or two the Giants could sign in a little bit, we'll also recap what's happening in the offseason so far. Show O'Shane Zimenez some love down in the comments section. Type his 53s down below. You're about to get hit with the YouTube ad break, so scroll on down and type those 53s. And by the time you're done, we'll be back talking about O'Shane Zimenez. I, I don't mind the re-signing at all, especially when you factor in the contract and the monetary value, which I expect to be a one-year deal for the veteran minimum, so pretty much one year for a million dollars. But the Giants still do have a major hole, in my opinion, in the pass rusher department. I love what they did to beef up the interior defensive line by bringing back... Um, Jihad Ward. They signed Sean Robinson. They signed Rakeem Nunez Rochess. They have Leonard Williams. They have Dexter Lawrence. But it's on the outside, the guys that can get after the passer, that I'm a little bit worried about because I love Kayvon Thibodeau, but he's had some injury injuries throughout his career and really dating back to high school. Aziz Ojolari missed a lot of time last year. And as much as I love O'Shane Zimenez, I don't have as much trust in him as being our really our first backup pass rusher. Ryder Anderson has a cool story. Tom and Fox is a cool UDFA that Lawrence Taylor likes coming out of North Carolina. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants go out and add another veteran pass rusher. Maybe a guy like Justin Houston, who had nine and a half sacks last year for the Baltimore Ravens. Maybe you look for a guy um, on the edge that's a veteran that can really just come in and compete and really be a mentor to some of these younger guys on the roster. I think you need some more juice in that department, no doubt about it. Maybe a guy like Robert Quinn, who had, what, 18 sacks two years ago, and then four years ago he had 11 and a half sacks. Maybe you look at someone like Melvin Ingram or Carlos Dunlap or Marcus Golden. But Justin Houston and Robert Quinn would be two guys that I would have my eyes on as Giants fans, as two veterans that I think could, you know, kind of mentor and help some young guys like Kayvon and Aziz, and now O'Shane Zimenez, who's wild to think that he's one of the most veteran pass rushers we have, and he's going to be entering his fifth year in the National Football League. But news of the day, the Giants, they are re-signing O'Shane Zimenez in NFL free agency, and this is why you subscribe to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I was just in an interview, actually interviewing somebody to get hired here at Chat Sports, potentially. News broke. I told the guy, we'll see you later. We got to go do a New York Giants video so that guy's out of a job. We made sure to get you guys a video. So hit that sub button. Videos every single day. And when news breaks, we get you guys a video. Sub, 
Never miss a thing. Hit that big red sub button. Help us get to 30,000 subs. When you talk about O'Shane Zimenez, you're looking at a guy that can't really create pressure by himself, in my opinion. And I think the sack numbers really reflect that throughout his NFL career. At six and a half sacks, I don't mind this as a depth piece, but this doesn't sell me at the point where the Giants, I'm now like, all right, we got it. We got our full pass rush. O'Shane Zimenez is our first guy off the bench. No, you still need to add to that spot. And I believe the Giants will continue to do that. And the reason I believe that is because, one, Joe Shane said at the NFL draft that, uh, that they're not done adding to this roster. And they've already made moves this offseason, which makes me think the Giants may have a couple more moves up their sleeve. kind of want to just recap some notable acquisitions that have happened so far this offseason. I think the biggest one you could debate is either Bobby O'Kara okay, at the linebacker spot coming over from the Indianapolis Colts or Darren Waller trading pick number 100 for him and that going to the Las Vegas Raiders. You also added a guy like Raheem Nunez Roches to add some veteran beef inside the defensive line, a really good run stuffer as well as Sean Robinson. Then you signed a couple of good speedy receivers like Paris Campbell, you brought back Darius Slayton. You brought back Sterling Shepard. Kind of the Jamison Crowder signing. Kind of goes through the cracks a little bit. You may not think that might be that valuable, but I do think that Crowder still has some juice, and he could definitely succeed in this Brian Dable offense. Could he maybe be um, a Cole Beasley type of player in this offense like Beasley was for the Bills a couple of years ago? And in the draft, the Giants absolutely killed it in the first three rounds. Deontay Banks, John Michael Schmitz, and Jalen Hyatt. So I want to ask you guys this question. There's a bunch of guys. Jahad Ward was brought back. A lot of people you would, could go with. Who was your favorite offseason pickup by the New York Giants? For me, I'm probably going to go with either Bobby O'Karake or Darren Waller. Look, if Waller's healthy, he has the potential to be a top five tight end in the NFL. And I think it's a good move because you invested in your investment. And what I mean by that is, you invested in Daniel Jones. Let's now invest in Daniel Jones by getting him some help. And they did that, but I'll leave it up to you. Let me know your favorite pickup this offseason. Look, it's O'Shane Zimenez. It's nothing to go crazy about at the signing. He's going to bring some depth, but I still think the Giants need another edge rusher. We talked about some guys. They definitely need to do it, um, and I think they will. I think they will. Dan Duggan actually tweeted out, who covers the uh, for the, the Giants for the Athletic tweeted out, I thought the Giants would go out and sign a veteran uh, pass rusher. They didn't expect to be O'Shane Zimenez, which tells me it might be someone else. He actually just tweeted out as well. He said, the Giants were at 82 players after the draft with nine UDFA signings and the Zimenez re-signing. Two cuts should be coming by the weekend. So... Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because if the Giants cut anyone, we're going to be putting a video out about it. And actually, tomorrow's video you're getting on the channel is cut candidates because the Giants right now have to trim their salary cap by about $3 million for them to sign their rookie class. So tomorrow's video, we're talking about guys that could be cut. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, and we'll see you then.